All right, guys, I've uh, officially started working on my e-bike battery. I'm gonna make it a 20 amp hour battery at 48 volts. I've got my e-bike kit on the way. Um, should be here probably a week or so. Um, it's gonna be a 1500 watt kit and uh, 48 volts. And this is what 733 battery, 18650 lithium ion batteries look like. Looks like. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that I was gonna build a battery bank, uh, like kind of bus to charge you know, multiple batteries at one time. Well, this is what this is here. I'm gonna start working on this. I'm gonna put about 12 batteries on this. And what I did is I went to Radio Shack and got some springs. Um, I'm gonna tear these, tear these apart and attach them to this here. And, and then also, you know, make them individual on here. That way they don't slip off and, and move over and short out and things like that. So. Uh, when I do throw them on here, I'm going to make sure that they're all the same voltage. That way they don't overheat and uh, catch fire. But, but yeah, that's uh, now officially started on the battery. So uh, from here on out, my new videos are just going to be about me building this new battery. And uh, these are the ones that I've already charged up here and down here. These down here are kind of going on the, on the wayside because they're a thousand milliamp or lower. Uh, these up here. Are 1500 and up. I think my best ones so far are the 2341 milliamp hour batteries right there, and my lowest one is the Relief 1500. Yeah, back there. So and I've got a couple charging or uh, discharging to see where they're at right now. And, uh, that's these guys. Uh, the great thing about these batteries here, um, which are in this stack, uh, these are the Samsung 30Bs. And those are supposed to be three amp cell each. And then I've also got some in here that are 28 amp hour or 2800 amp hour. Um, so even though they are mismatched, there are some in here uh, that are also three three amp cells. Uh, so I can find one here. Those are 2200. Um, there are there are some in here hidden hidden away, and these are about 2600. Uh, I'm not saying that that's where they're at today, but that's where they were supposed to be when they were brand new. So hopefully they're you know, two thirds of what they used to be. Um, these guys here, these are hit or miss on uh, junk or actually really good. Um, the lowest I've had on these are 500 milliamp each to uh, 2000, um, right, which are uh, right there. So, um, not sure. And I've tried to identify the numbers on those uh, to see which ones are the good ones and which ones are the bad ones, but they all vary. None of the numbers are the same, so it's just kind of like the when they were being made, they just kind of stamped a number on those. So I'm not really too sure, but, but yeah, uh, yeah, stay tuned, and uh, I'll start working on the uh, the, the battery bank and get that started. All right, thanks. Okay, guys, I'm on like revision three now. Of what I really want to do with these, um, I've got a six cell bank here on this platform uh, plywood, and I have started tearing these apart. To get the springs um, out of these, and these are going to go on the ends um, on the negative and the positive. We're going to have those guys on there. Um, but what I plan on doing is making you know this the negative having individual plates for the balancing um, all the way to the positive, and it's not going to just be laying across this way. They're actually going to be stacked and stacked this way. So eight. I have eight in each bank uh, being charged, so I got about 48 batteries I can charge at one time uh, to really power through these batteries and get them charged up to where I can then throw them on that to have them discharged and see what they're at on the discharge test. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, I'll keep I'll keep showing you guys where I'm at. Thanks.